All right, what's going on, guys? Um, so IGN just dropped the new, new gameplay trailer of Sonic Frontiers. Looks pretty good. I saw a little bit of it, but I tried not to uh, look at too much because I wanted to do a do a reaction to it. So let's get into it. Sonic Frontiers world premiere gameplay. IGN first. Nice. Hope we get to see more of it pretty soon. Pretty cool though. Go back. IGN first for the month of June 2022 is all about Sonic Frontier. Really cool. We've got gameplay, we've got previews, and we've got interviews from the developers who made it all happen. All month long, we'll be diving deep into what you can expect when the game makes its way to the Can't wait to see more. Looks really, First up, it's really we've fun. got the world premiere gameplay focusing on exploring the mysterious. Saw the snippet yesterday, I didn't think it was. Worth reacting to it now. At the start of the game. Be sure to stick with IGN throughout June so you don't miss anything. Until then, you're hey, just my mic. Gameplay from Sonic Frontiers. Make sure it's a little louder. I mean, animations do look unfinished, but you know, it's still early. I want them to make it look really nice, so I don't mind if it's delayed. How about that? Very Breath of the Wild near ish, like vibes. I wonder what the coins are for. Climbing stuff like that. It's kind of neat. Hope it's momentum based, not real, not boost. It's like past games. Doesn't look like it so far though. A lot more adventurous. What I like, kind of like about the. Yes. Very nice view. Lots of, lots of rails, I like that. I, I always like rail grinding and rail grinding in Sonic games, so very fun. A little, little bit of boost, but I think that's fine. As long as it's not obvious, it's more like it looks more like a dash, not just boosting. Maybe if I like, get enough rings, you'll be able to do a full dash. Very nice. It seems like this more, this like a boost seems very more like, oh you're dashing and you get a little bit more speed, but other than that, the, the speed seems more controlled by like the player depending on the match. Um depending on I'm just I can't talk. It's really fun. I love like the hardcore stuff and saw it now. Wow. Got the tricks. Yeah, animations do look, do look really, like, not polished, but I think that's fine. They're focusing more on having good gameplay first. It looks like those, like, Sonic simulators where you have, like, the whole, like, open world. I think this is what it's kind of inspired by. Puzzles, it's like. 
of the new areas. And I wonder if you could just like go around the whole thing and just kind of like cheats the game a little bit. Seems like a very interesting mechanic. It puts me in mind of uh, Pokemon Ranger. You have to like circle all the uh, um, Pokemon to cat capture them. Didn't play too much of Pokemon Ranger, but it was, it was interesting. I remember how to like punch them and stuff like that. I also gotta take a look at the Pokemon stuff that was announced today, so. Very promising. In my in my eyes, it does. It's a lot more fresh, kind of different environment. I think it does put me in mind of like that one area in Sonic Six, but you know Sonic Six looked pretty good, even despite it not being a good game. It still the environment still looked pretty neat. It, so every game has its has its strengths and weaknesses, I believe. Oh boy! Whoops! There you go. I like that, like, different puzzles for, uh, blocking more, like, areas on the map and stuff like that. A lot more varied. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, well, I've... looks really good. I think it's gonna be a really good game. It's got. Want to see more? Hopefully, they can like rough out or hopefully they can smooth out those kind of more rough animations. But so far, I think it looks like a good game. And um, if there'll be reaction. The Pokemon later today, so I'll take a look at that stuff as well. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.